Hi everyone, this is Jacqueline, Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. I'm out and about getting some fresh air and thought I'd come take a look-see at what's at my community Goodwill. This isn't the one that's close, close, close by my house, but this is the one that I like to come to because they usually have really nice items. And let me just see where this was made. That's a cute purse. So thought I'd come and do some shop abouts with everyone. As you can tell, I did change my name for various reasons. I'll be discussing that actually on Sunday. I hope to do a live, not a live, I'm sorry. I hope to do an unboxing of a... A mystery box that I got from Trusty Huckster Mercantile and I haven't done the unboxing I think I received it a couple of weeks ago and um, I just been keeping the stuff at bay until I do an actual unboxing of it oh this is an interesting bag I'm not gonna look further in it because it looked like it's leather though it's cute it's Got like religious stuff on it. Not, not. I have nothing against that, but it's also twenty bucks. So I'll be doing that unboxing video on Sunday. In the meantime, I'm going to, if I get, can get through this video without too much, uh, not interruption, but, uh, you know, you could hear the music. If not, it's up very loud. I have no idea when I'm looking at toys what's what so but I do like to look at them I don't think I'll be buying anything because I have plenty of inventory if something really really jumps out at me I will consider it when I'm not in the market to buy anything I don't get a cart but See, like something like this I would buy I would buy a stupid thing like this it's like a buck pink is the, the sale price it's like a little pinball nothing special it's something that I would give to my grandson basically or keep in my car if he were to like ride with me or something so and they have it for 99 cents and pink is the 50% off. One day I will do clothing. I, I just don't understand that market. Like I mentioned before, if I did clothing, it would be something that I really know what I'm looking for. And it might be something I get for myself, like some jeans or something, which I don't wear a lot of jeans, but I, I would get them from the Goodwill. And I would have like a relative or someone, someone upcycle them. There's somebody I watch on YouTube, I don't know, I haven't seen her video in a while, called, um, she used to be called the something crafter, nomadic crafter, but now she's uncivilized, that's the name of her channel, and I would, um, you know, see if somebody could upcycle like her. Now these are, I think, are belts, and all you have to do is put on a buckle, so... 99 cents. I mean, the colors are kind of weird, green and yellow, but I'm going to grab those. See? You say you're not going to shop, but look what happens. And then this little thing here, I'm not sure of what that is. So, of course, I have tons and tons of ideas of what I want to do <laughs> as far as something on the channel, but I do want to stay focused, but I also want to have variety. So, uh, I know I heard one other um, YouTuber talking about game night, and I've been thinking of doing a game night of these obscure games I've never heard of. That is still in the works. I'm not sure yet, but I just know I have a bunch of the traditional games at home that I picked up from Goodwill, some still in the box, brand new, that I'm keeping. I'm not selling them. 
So let's see what they have here, you guys. This might be a two-parter, depending on the time. And I don't know how much you can hear the uh, radio. Whoops. But, yeah, there's a lot of radio noise going on. There's this little interesting little lock. And then have some color pens and a little fat thingy. And usually this section is for like crafty things or yeah. I see some patterns here. I wonder if they have any really old 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 patterns. Oh, look at that. So this is for... I, I work with this nonprofit organization. They have like a little sewing club thingy. I might pick up this pattern. I'm going to meet with them on Saturday to talk about something. Uh, they're reupholstering a chair. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm saying using the word reupholster very, very loosely. But I had a beautiful vintage chair from the 70s and uh, unfortunately the iron got to it by accident and it has a big iron mark on it so now I'm going to ask the sewing teacher if she could um, you know re recover it look at that uh, what size is this little PJs I'll put this to the side because I might uh, consider donating those to that organization. So those are these are things that like they're not um, they stand the test of time. This is like just some basic PJs, and then this is a cute little crafty item. Sorry for the speed at which I was turning that, but it's this little bag. And my phone decides it wants to act up. So, let's see what else we have here. Uh, those are the ones that look the most exciting. What is this? Yoga accessories. This one looks... So, pink is the color, so these will basically be 50 cents. Oh, I should have checked to make sure that all the patterns were in there. I used to sew way back in the day way back in the day and here's an interesting little switch plate so again this section is sort of like artsy crafty type things i do like those that switch plate um so uh, i'll just put that to the side some things i'll really really decide on later now this is uh, I'll be a quarter. These are like folders, like um, you know, those folders for your file cabinet. Let's see here. Oh, they got a lot of things with some little pink stickers on them. When I said I wasn't buying anything, and here I go. Sectional frames, very cute. Oh, they are playing games with me here with these items. Look at that. I'm going to leave the sectional frames, but they have them at a very good price. Beautiful butterfly. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys may or may not know I have a consulting company. Fledgling, well, struggling, whatever you want to call it. And my symbol of Venus Consulting is a butterfly. It's a purple butterfly, but that is really cute. So, I'm looking at a lot of cute stuff. Doesn't mean I'm getting them. Uh, I'm already $5 over my budget <laughs> that I came for. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Something caught my eye. What is it? What is it? You know, I never... Not never. I traditionally do not shop this area traditionally just because 
it's sort of these type of things and I don't do much with them if I find some vintage cards or something I might see like this is a cool little piece but not today y'all not today I think this may have been the thing that caught my eye this little wallet and I am apologizing for my camera's acting like a baby. Seems like it's not focusing the way it should. It seems a little darker than usual. So I hope it comes out clear on the other side, you guys. Now here are thank you cards. If I can find some in a bunch, that's for 50 cents. And not, you know, holiday inspired, uh, I would get them. So I'm spending a little bit more time in this section than I usually do. So this is a plastic lined tablecloth it will end up being one dollar you know I really I really hate leaving that because if it was summer I would pick it up but because it's winter there isn't a lot of outdoor activities or me doing events in addition to the fact that we're still having this challenge with the pandemic, I don't think I will pick up that tablecloth, but it's a really cool tablecloth. And I think I have a couple of these, so I'm not going to get it. But I do want to look at the... Oh, no price on it. And posted... Now this here section is like office supply, so let me know if you see anything. I actually have a, I think it's a new on the box Rolo Dex, like this old fashioned one that, well, I sell old fashioned. We used to use them in the 80s, 90s, even in the 2000s before we start doing all the electronic stuff. So, let's see. Yep, what do we have here? Hmm, pocket turk. What is that? I always like to look at things that's in a box. What does this thing do? Anybody ever seen these? Hmm. And it's a common core. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Interesting too that the music just got loud or weird or overdubbed. I'm not going to worry about them. I will just keep going. I remember a while ago, I mean, this was quite a bit ago, um, that I got a copyright strike. Well, it was a warning as opposed to a strike, I guess. They're like, we're not giving you a strike, but we're just telling you, be careful. And, oh, that's neat. That's cute. Can you see that okay? Oh made in China now I am not against things made in China depending on what they are but that stuff I just that little boot I just picked up was okay so so what they're doing is like not only do they have uh, maybe somebody's testing a radio so this is cute I'm going to get through maybe one more aisle, you guys, and then I'm going to take a break and look through some things. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I would want to buy it just because of, well, I know it's modern first and foremost, but it's just, you know, it's cute. That's all I have to say. It's cute. Got some uh, garden tools. So, so, you hear that? What the heck is going on here? 
What is this? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's very low. Oh, that's like either a customer or a staff. Don't know why they have that music up that loud. It's very interesting. <clears throat> is that for my benefit? <laughs> okay, where did I put my stuff? <laughs> hey guys, I lost. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I lost my stuff. <laughs> interesting. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me look at this one thing here. And then I'm going to uh, shut it down for a hot second and just take a peek at some other things. You guys can't see where my hand is. I'm trying to. Now, this is older. Well, it looks older. It's cute, though. Very nice piece. Very nice piece. What else do we have? <sighs> we just take a gander at what's going on in these carts here. Holiday something or another. Got this little cookie jar guy. Got this cute little snowman pot thingy. I like that. Huh. That's cute. But I seriously am not in the market for much, even if it's really cool. I mean, it's got to be like extra special cool. Like this isn't bad. It's a, it's a, it's very, needs a cleaning, it's 50 cents. I'll think about it. I will think about it. I do like stuff in boxes. This is a, what are they calling this? A tile trivet set? Maybe it's uh, like posters? Oh, okay, those are cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at them a little closer when I, when I kind of shut it down. And I'm only going through the aisles slowly. I know that some of us like to see the cut. Those are mine. These are just sitting here. 50 cents. And they're very nice bowls as far as Sakura. I have a friend named Sakari. And her name is spelled except at the end where the A is, it's an I. Shout outs to Sakari. And there's a meaning for that name or that word. What else do we have up here? Uh, again, guys, I am going to apologize in advance because I've noticed that my camera is going in and out of focus for some reason. So let me check this with the baskets and we'll shut it down and then I'll come back on uh, tomorrow and show you the rest of what I was able to find I, I like this tray it's just one tray it's thin buck 99 so and I'm not into baskets or anything, honestly, but sometimes you find some really cool ones. And then his, this is the other side of the board games. So, interesting puzzles. Yeah, one day, you know, I'm going to do just a um, section on, uh, uh, not board games, on... Uh, yeah, board games, I'm sorry, on games in general, a section on games, because they have a lot. I won't do this particular Goodwill, because I don't really like their selection of board games or games in general. Uh, I'll have to go to one of the other ones. So, let's see this again. I like those. I keep going back to them. I like them. 
Well, I'm going to uh, finish this tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining me again. I'm Jacqueline. I am now Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. Subscribe, like, let's have a conversation in the comment section. Something I miss. I'm, I'm focusing in on these cards because I'm about to take a very hard look at them. But uh, subscribe and I will see you guys on the other side.